Hey guys, you're a trapper there, and today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade from Windows 11 23 H2 to Windows 11 24 H2. So at the minute if I come to Windows Update, as you can see I don't have any more updates available, but if I come to Search and I type Run, and then I run WinVer, as you can see my Windows version is only 23H2, and not the most recent release 24H2. So to upgrade to 24H2, we're first going to come to our web browser and you want to come to the Downloads for Windows 11 on Microsoft. The link will be in the description. And then we want to download the Create Windows 11 installation media. So if we download that, and then we will just hit run, and then we will just run the media creator, and then we will accept the terms and conditions, and then we will click next, and then we will select the ISO file option here, and then we will click next. And then you want to select where you want the ISO to be saved. So I'm just going to save any downloads and I will call it Windows 11 24H2 as that is the current release as was shown by Microsoft's downloads here with its own version 24H2. Now if that's different at the time that you're looking, if there is say 25H2, I have also done a video on how to download older Windows ISOs, so if you want to use that you can do, but we're now just going to click save, and it will now start downloading the Windows 11 24H2 ISO. And there we go, now it's finished downloading the ISO file, we can now click finish, and as you can see I have saved the ISO to my downloads location, so if I now double click to open it up, and then I double click on the setup file inside of it, and then I click yes, and then I click next, and just let it check for updates, and now it should just check the compatibility of the PC. Now if it comes up saying that your CPU is not compatible, I have done a video on how you can bypass that, so a link will be in the description, and now it will just accept the terms and conditions, and now it's finished getting updates, we can now click install, and it will now start installing 24H2. And now it's finished installing, if I now come and run WinVer again, so if I go to run and then go WinVer, as you can see we're now on Windows 11 24H2. So guys, that's as simple as it gets, if you like the video don't forget the like button, if you decide to hit the dislike button, subscribe for content like this and I'll see you another time, bye.